So we've come out for a little walk to clear our heads because there's so much going on at the moment. We've uh, finally completed the sale of our house. Um, so the money is now in the bank. And after two and a half years on board, which was our trial period with our boat, wasn't it? To see what we were going to be doing. Our practice boat. Um, we've had to make some decisions about what's next. So we had a few options. We could have um, stayed with Constanza and done her up. We could have uh, bought a brand new boat. We could have bought a second hand boat, which would be a little bit more in keeping with our lifestyle. Or we could have gone back to land, but that's not going to happen, is it? Going back to land, no way. <laughs> we don't want to go back to land. We like boat life too much. So we've made a decision, haven't we? We have made a decision and we're buying a brand new boat. Yes. A 58 foot semi-traditional narrow boat. And uh, we're so chuffed, aren't we? We are so chuffed. So excited. We've agonised over this decision for months and months and months, knowing that the house will finally, eventually be sold. And then what to do? We made a decision. We make the decision to keep Constanza and have various bits and pieces. But at the end of the day, we really want a Danette with a side hatch over it. And with the best bull in the world, we can't fit that on our boat, can we? No. <laughs> and also the, the, the new boat's going to be eight foot longer. It's 58 foot boat, eight foot longer than Constanza. So we're going to have more room for cupboard space, etc. A washing machine, <laughs> front loading, yeah, one of those newfangled things. <laughs> I've managed really, really well with our little Edna, and, uh, but the fact is that the plumbing is there and it's set up, the design is there ready for a washing machine, so yeah, I'm going to have a washing machine and a fridge, so we get ice for the gin and tonics. <laughs> <laughs> so it's all really exciting. Um, we can't wait, can we? It's, no. uh, it's just we're boring ourselves stupid talking about it every day. Yes. So that's what we're up to. Yeah. So who's building the boat? Well, if you remember a couple of videos ago, when Fran reversed into that boat wharf, well, that's Elton Moss Boat Builders uh, in Middlewich in Cheshire. Yeah. And we've decided to go with them. We came up some locks with um, somebody that got one of their boats a little while ago. We've seen them all along, they're very, very popular boats. But we came up or down some locks with somebody that had one and he'd said what a really good boat it was yeah. and how pleased he was, so we thought we'd have a look. So we went and met uh, the owners, Ruth and Artie, and really got on well with them. And uh, they're going out of their way to help us get the boat built that we want. With the structure already being built and the windows already cut out, we're limited to how the boat has to fit. But uh, we've had the bedroom changed around, the bathroom changed around, the fire put on the other side, purely to suit how we imagine the boat would suit us. We want to keep a really simple boat again. We didn't want um, a flashy, all singing, all dancing, fancy boat. Um, and we wanted things that are gonna give it a little bit of character. We want to put our mark. Yeah which is what we feel we've done with Constanza, is we've made it a homely boat and we want the same again. So they're putting in extra bookshelves for us yeah. and instead of a television cabinet, we're having sort of bookshelves and places for our games. Um, it's really good, isn't it? Because they've got their set standard layouts, which they normally use, but they're quite happy to change that to suit your needs. Or if you want, you can completely have a bespoke boat. Can't from you? scratch yeah but uh, that's too complicated for it's us, convenient it? for us that they, they've <laughs> actually got this shell ready to be fitted out and it's going to reduce the time scale somewhat so yeah. new year we should be cruising on a new boat yes hopefully early next year yeah all things being well so Elton Moss are going to handle the sale of Constanza for us completely um, and as soon as they've got an idea of when the new boat will be ready we can um, let them know and they can advertise Constanza for us and just handle that on our behalf. Yeah. It should be available for viewing from then on, I guess, won't Late she? Late autumn, I suppose, yeah. Um, so it's just everything is so excited. It's all going around in our heads. We wake up thinking about um, laying in bed with our coffee, looking out <laughs> at the view. Yeah. We can sit playing Scrabble and board games to our heart's content at the Dinette, walk away and leave it, and it's still there to come back to, instead of having to clear the decks each time we're doing something. Yeah. Um, so it's, we're really excited, as I keep saying. It's a new episode in our 
canal boat journeys yeah. and I uh, hope you're all going to stick with us and uh, nothing's going to change our life is still going to no. be exactly the same we're still going to be living as um, environmentally friendly life as possible and that might even be easier on a more efficient boat we're still going to be doing our foraging our walking our cooking and scavenging Talking. and what Talking. <laughs> So stick with us on our journey, we'll be showing the build of the boat every month or so and showing you what's happening, how it's going and uh, same as, same old. Yeah. Keep following, keep liking, keep subscribing. Thank you, yes. And thanks for watching. Thank you. Cheers. Bye.